Hi Stampers, it's super awesome. Stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, USA. I'm excited to be participating in this global Stampin' Up! vlog hop, a video YouTube hop featuring lots of demonstrators across the globe. And this is my project that I'm gonna be sharing today, so let's get started. The first step is to process a piece of A2 cardstock through the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder, and I've already done that. And I'm going to hold that up to the camera. Not sure if you can see that, but it's got little Dainty Diamonds, just like the uh, name indicates. All right, and then usually when I process a piece of card base through the Big Shot, I press down with my bone folder so that when I'm assembling it, it's flat. It's not kind of boinging up on me. Okay, so here's our sample card. I'm gonna set this aside a little bit. I'm gonna get some stamping done first. This is the Gorgeous Grape Ink Pad, and I need one in the center of this circle. And the circle was cut using the dies from the Layering Circles dies. And then I also need one on just a scrap piece of paper. And this one will fussy cut out. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then there's one more thing to stamp in the Gorgeous Grape Ink, and that's the inside. So the Sending You Healing Vibes, right in the center. And we're gonna see if I can get this straight on camera. How good I'm, ooh, that looks pretty good. Mm, not quite. You always got two sides to the card, right? Let's try that. That one's even a little, a little more slanted. We'll just stay with that. All right, I'm done with the Gorgeous Grape ink pad. And the stamps that I'm using are from the stamp set Healing Hugs. There's that. And now I've been using three different ink pads, so I'm going to try to make sure I don't double dip any ink here. All right, I've got Gordon... Garden Green, let's move that one out of the way, stamped in the leaves. So just stamp that on a piece of scratch paper. You're going to fussy cut those out as well. I'm going to cut, close that ink pad up so I don't get ink anywhere else. Set that aside. And then I'm going to bring in my Crumb Cake ink pad. And for this one, I just thought some of these little... Um, cross stitch stampy things would be good make a good inside something a little different and then the outside so we're done with the inside piece the outside the designer series paper is cut to four inches by five and a quarter inches and it's from the in um yeah in good taste designer series paper pack that package has 12 different designs, two of each design. And the package features all of these lovely neutrals in bricks and woods. All right, so cross hatch all around. And then I created, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm stamping on the designer series paper to create my own background paper because the neutral was nice, but it needed a little, little jazzing up. So how jazzy is that? I think that looks good. Actually, I'm going to put one right there and one right there. Okay, last thing would be to jazz up this piece. So this is the little strip that was left over when you cut off the designer series paper so at four you cut it cut it at four inches to 12 inches and then you cut two of these pieces the five the four and um by five and a quarter so this is the four inch by three fourths inch so instead of having this piece get placed in my scrap bin we're going to use that on the card so we're all done with the stamping and that was the crumb cake ink pads let me get ink Pads are out of the way there. All right, so let's bring a few things back in. 
This is the inside piece. So let's get some adhesive on that. And then the first layer on the outside piece would, would be this designer series paper that we just added our stamp images to. And I love using bright colors like Gorgeous Grape against neutrals because it makes those the bright, vibrant colors just pop. All right, next layer would be a three by three inch square of garden green cardstock. Oh, and before I um, put some adhesive on there, we're gonna crinkle that up because this is an organic looking card. So we, we don't want everything to look just so flat and pretty. We want it to look a little crumply. All right, this piece is three by two. Yep, three by two. That one I just left flat because we have got just the corners peeking out. And then there's this layer next. What I did on this end was I custom cut a little flag. So just use your paper snips, you snip down the center and you come from the corner and snip to where you made that little slice. There, so that's how we used to do custom flags before we had our triple banner punch. Okay, so this is gonna be our next layer. There we go. Now we get to the fun part. Oh, I do have to bring back the ink pad. So I thought this was a little stark, all is white. So we're gonna bring back that little cross stitch pattern stamp. And I just did it lightly around the circle. So I think I stamped off even a little bit because I didn't want a lot of color. I just wanted some color. Yep, I think that looks good. Okay, so now there's one way to the flower and look at this through the magic of television. I have some already fussy cut out. So the flower to me looks like it's going up like this. There's this really large petal there. So on my sample card, I've had the large petal going down like that. All right, so um, you wanna make sure you know which way your, your circle or which way your flower is going because if you put your fussy cut flower over it, you're gonna have some purple peeking out, which is okay. Uh, this is kind of, it kind of gives a little bit of shadow look, but you don't want a lot of the purple peeking out on this bottom circle. So I think right there looks good. Okay, so now the next layer is going to be your flower, kind of, sort of. So here's how my flower is going to be orientated on my card. I'm going to put a few things behind here. So I'm going to put my dimensionals on the top and the bottom. All right, so we're going to start with a few things here. I've got some lace, some of our scallop lace trim peeking out right there on either side. And the way I attach that would be some glue dots. So glue dot on the bottom and then the glue dot in the center there. So that will hold the two together, flipping it over so that the glue dot faces up. And then I'm going to just put the little bit there. So same thing on the other side. Glue dot on one side and then glue dot in the opposite side. Squish them together, flip it up so the glue dot is up. And then, actually it looks like I have the leaf tucked under there first. So let's tuck that leaf underneath. So with another glue dot. And I had it about right there. And then the scallop ribbon. So I'm eyeballing where I put the ribbon 
on the right side because I don't want I want it in the same linear horizontal line. There. Okay, now I can pull off the dimensionals. Eyeballing to make sure that the scallop lace is uh, horizontal and in line with the flag right there. Okay, and then the fun part, a couple fun parts would be embellishing. So these are our elegant faceted gems. So I don't know if you can see that, but the white, I use the white ones. There's solid white glittery ones, and then there's clear ones as well. So I used a few of them plus our pearls to kind of jazz everything up. So let's see if I can get these in the same place. So there's one right there. And there's one right here on the flag. And the purpose of adding these little embellishments is to move your eye around the card. I think I'm going to put one down there. And then some of the pearls. Let's put one on the scallop ribbon. And let's put a, yeah, one of these sizes on this ribbon. And then one of the smaller sizes on top of that. And I need some more over here, more pearls just to kind of continue the eye around the card. And then of course you need odd numbers for me anyway. So there's three here, there's four there. So why don't we pick another small pearl and put it right there so there's five on that side. Pretty, right? So looks pretty similar, right? To the card that I did the sample of and the one I did on the video, yay! Okay, so I just want to go through the catalog and show you where I got a few of the products. So open it up. Here's Healing Hugs, the stamp set. It's on page 72 of the catalog. And then in our catalog, we also have full color concept artist samples to give you some ideas on how to use the stamp set. And then it has a make a mask tip on this page as well. So... You get some bonus tutorials with the catalog. Here is the designer's truth paper that I use. It's the In Good Taste paper pack. And the pattern that I use would be this pattern right here. On the opposite side, there's the light wood grain. And then the, the side I use kind of looks like waffle weave, maybe white dishcloth. I've got white dishcloths like that. Here are our embellishments. So we've got the basic pearls up here. You get 140 pieces in that package, and the elegant faceted gems are right there. The ribbon that I used would be the scalloped ribbon, number 11, scallop lace trim, and the die cut for the circle would be the layering squares. And last page is the Dainty Diamonds 3D embossing folder. All right, stampers, hope you had a good time with my video. Hope this inspires you to create a card that's got a little bit of an organic look. Oh, and one last thing I forgot. I know you won't be able to see it on screen, maybe if I hold it up, but the Wink of Stella adds a little bit of easy glitter. And what I'm doing is just going around where there's the darker purple ink. Oh, my catalog just fell on the floor. And it adds just another depth and interest to the card. All right. Have a good day, Stampers. Uh, turn on your notifications if you want to see more videos from me. Like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye.